If you speak the truth, you die. If you don't speak the truth, die. you die. die. Choose to speak the truth, you die. You die. And die. If you love your country, the Gambia, I swear you must love this woman. This woman is a real mother, a real citizen. Looking at the Honorable Minister's statement and looking at the budget, I think that our government does not love this country. I swear, I respect this woman, you know, as a Gambian, as a mother, as a leader. Your people should be proud of you, madam. They do not have the feeling to nurture our children in this country. Honorable Speaker, six billion dollars in salaries alone. Madam, uh, first of all, I will tell you this. Baro and his government doesn't care about the Gambians. I swear. Not in administrative cost. Honorable Speaker, and we say we are a poor country. Honorable Speaker, the median age in this country is 19 years old. We should consider the life and the livelihood of our children. We should be investing in education. We should be investing in health rather than paying ourselves, feeding ourselves out of the poor people of this country. I will start with this August Assembly, Honorable Speaker. Guys, let's be very honest. Barrow and his government came just to destroy the Gambia because this is what we call corruption free. Corruption is free. You can do it anyhow. Honorable Speaker, to see the salary of the Honorable Speaker increased from 658 million to one to 658,000 to 1 million 560, I feel ashamed to call myself an Honorable Member. I swear, I swear, Gambia, let's wake up. Gambia, let's wake up. If not, our kids will suffer until they die. Honorable Speaker, I gave myself for service. I did not give myself for the poor people to feed me and my family. Honorable Speaker, when I saw this, I felt embarrassed. I did not want to come to this budget session. Because I said to myself, there is no need because we are just sharing the cake in our pockets, going home, feeding ourselves. You know, I feel ashamed as a Gambian. I feel ashamed being a man. I feel very ashamed. I swear. I took an oath, Honorable Speaker, to serve and to give back to my society, not to enrich myself and even if i go to the constitution honorable speaker it says that we shouldn't deliberately enrich ourselves and increasing our salaries is deliberately enriching ourselves and that is an embarrassment i think as a national assembly we should not accept any salary increment it was in this august assembly that we sat and discussed the salaries of the ministers and denied them even though they went behind our backs and increased it, that is their problem. We offered ourselves for service, Honorable Speaker. We were not appointed. We were elected and we offered ourselves. Just look at how serious this woman is. How, how emotional she is. In front of all these men, nobody, none of them is ready to speak the truth like her. What a shot nation.